Cases across the country rising to levels we haven't seen since the winter. ABC's Phil Lipoff is in New York City with the latest. Good morning to you, Phil. Well, Eva, this is the last thing anybody wants to wake up on a Saturday morning and hear two years into this pandemic, but it is the reality. And this morning, more than 124,000 new cases are being reported every day. That's up 16% in just this last week alone. It's the highly daily case, av- the highest daily case average since February. Here, where we are in New York City, the highest infection rate daily infection rate since January. Every region in the country seeing rising hospitalizations nationally up 14 percent since last week to the highest level since early March. In the last seven days, nearly 2,500 people have died and the infection numbers are likely significantly undercounted. As we've been reporting, dozens of states have shut down testing sites and more people, most people, are doing those at-home tests and of course not reporting to anybody. As for vaccinations, nearly 400,000 children under the age of five have now received their first shot. That's just 2% of the 19.5 million kids in that age group. Nationally, about 71 million Americans, that's 20% of the population, remain completely unvaccinated. The rising number is causing some fresh concern now. Uh, In Los Angeles County, the nation's most populous, officials are now making a move to reinstate indoor mask mandates by the end of the month.